Hello, today is another book review day and this week I have been reading The Three by Sarah Lotz. So as usual I'll read you the blurb and then let you know what I thought. Black Thursday, the day that will never be forgotten, the day that four passenger planes crash at almost exactly the same moment at four different points around the globe. There are only four survivors, three are children who emerge from the wreckage seemingly unhurt but they are not unchanged. And the fourth is Pamela Mae Donald, who lives just long enough to record a voice message on her phone, a message that will change the world. The message is a warning. Oh my goodness, you have to read this book. I have not felt this excited reading a book in a long time. There's only, well, I can't even think of a handful of books that have got me this excited. This is one of them. Ah, right. So the story starts off um, with a woman on a plane. She's going to Japan. She's from America. She's going to Japan to visit her daughter who works out there. And she's on the plane surrounded by only Japanese people. She's the only um, non-Japanese person on the plane. And the plane crashes down and she is alive and she's be she's crushed and and all she can see is wreckage around her and she manages to find her mobile phone um and makes a phone call and it just ends up being a recorded message um while she's uh kind of there slipping in and out of consciousness she sees a little boy and some strange things and, and they frighten her and she kind of portrays as much as she can through this message then the book oh, just turns amazing it's written in the style of a oh I can't think of what what it is it's it's written as though it's a book written um, by a journalist um, called Elspeth and the book is is made up of snippets of information which i love i really really like it when the reader is given some clues here and a bit there and and you have to kind of piece it together and work things out so what has happened from the blurb as you can tell um four planes have crashed there's the one in japan that pamela was on and um this little boy that she sees his name is hero then another plane crashed in north america um, and a young boy survived that plane crash and his name is Bobby and one plane crashed off the, the coast of um, Spain, Portugal in Europe and the, there was a child that survived that plane crash and her name is Jess. Um, there was a fourth plane crash and that happened in South Africa but there were no survivors. So apart from Pamela who died pretty much soon after the crash she, she only managed to stay alive in order to uh well long enough to uh to do this phone message the three children bobby hero and jess are alive and although kind of shaken and a bit shocked um they're healthy and the book is written it's made up of interviews with people whose loved ones were on these planes, so people that they lost. Um, it's made up of news reports. It's made up of um, articles, um, found um, internet conversations, instant messaging conversations between people. And, oh my goodness, I, can't, I don't want to give too much away because it is such a brilliantly constructed book. Um, like I say, you're given snippets of information and you you follow the the story is so coherent considering it's an article here, a phone conversation here, and it's all put together so, so brilliantly well that you don't want to stop reading. And like I say, it's been such a long time since I, I found a book that excited me as much as this one because the story is brilliant. It's so exciting. I'm a bit confused. I don't know whether or not this is to do with library uh, cataloguing, but um, it's classed as a thriller. I would class it as a little bit more of a supernatural. It is, it's, it is thrilling. I can't deny that. But um, there's obviously with plane crashes and any plane crash that 
happens at any time in the future, it's always going to be down to terrorists. Um, unfortunately, that's the way it is. If a plane crash, the first thing we think of is, oh, it must be terrorism. But there's lots of theories floating around. So you've got the terrorist theory. Um, you've got the government conspiracy. Um, you know, whatever the governments do, the, you know, they, they, they do strange things. And, and with this, the government um, instigated scheme. Um, and there's also uh, people who believe it is the start of Armageddon and the end of the world. And... Um, it is it is so interesting and exciting and it is such an enjoyable read because you are you're whipped in and out of situations so quickly I mean each chapter is barely if, if it's five pages long that's that's a long chapter um so it's really speedy and you get to see what happens to these children when they go home obviously they're a lot of their families have died because their children they were on the plane with their parents um bobby goes to live with his um grandmother and grandfather jess lives with her uncle and hero lives i think he lives with his uncle and his cousin and um you you get to just find out this, the strange things that go on with these children because something isn't quite right. Um, obviously, the plane has crashed, people have died, and these children have come out completely unscathed. And so something something has happened, and, and they're called the miracle children, the three that survived. Um, but some, something's not quite right. And throughout these articles and interviews and... Um, bits of storytelling it oh it just brings everything together so wonderfully and there's so many cliffhangers and things that make you want more and that's what you want from a book you don't want to feel like you're trudging through treacle you want to really enjoy it and your imagination is just oh it's Oh, just so much goes on. I cannot say how much I, I really enjoyed this book and I'm so glad I picked it up. It just, you know, the cover is 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 fairly uninviting, um, but it's intriguing and it's mysterious and you, things get wrapped up. Like I've, I've said before, I don't like kind of being left with a bit of a, mm, or oh, that wasn't the ending I was hoping for. I wasn't sure what I wanted from the ending in this. But it it was brilliantly done. I just I am so happy that I read this book and I really, really think everybody should read this book. Um it's got supernatural twists in it, there's murder and death and crime and oh so many different exciting aspects and you you kind of come away questioning what's going on in the world. Um it makes you think a little bit more um about these various things that are going wrong um oh it's it's just it's just brilliant and i won't obviously i won't say anything really about the plot um other than well i'm not even going to say anything i just think it's absolutely brilliant and it should be read and it is very exciting so a brilliant read how many times have i said brilliant in this video comment down below if you've counted um, so if you are interested in hearing any of my other book reviews, I read a wide range of literature, please subscribe to my channel. I do try to put out new videos every week and if I get a book as exciting as this one, then I just can't wait to put out a new video about it. Um, I also do, um, I also give bits of writing advice and uh, do some shameless self-promotion with my own writing. So if that's what you're interested in, if you're a bit bookish or a bit writerly, then please subscribe to my channel. And uh, have a good rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.